Hi guys, what is going on? Crazy Superman here. I am now in Taiwan for holiday and I want to do a product review for the Segway Nightbot Mini Pro 2. So here you can see the model name and just some battery and warning information. And this is the underneath. The width is fairly narrow so that's a good advantage because if you are navigating through tight space, this is okay. So now I'm turning it on. It's going to give you some audio in Mandarin about different safety tips. Every time you start, it's different tips. So that's good. Increase your the safety of this device. And on the side here, there are some LED light. So that's nice, increasing the safety right in the evening time. This one is the other side. And on the back there is some LED too. When you turn, it will show the people behind where you are going. Now, uh, it comes with this retractable uh, knee bar. You can go maximum this high and then lower all the way down. The original part here, uh, I had a little bit of trouble. After three days of use, I feel a little bit bruised in my knee. So I added this extra pad so my, my feet don't feel pain. And it's using this chocolate tire, which is very good going through bumpy places is still feeling very smooth and uh, I added this uh, dog leash so in places where they don't want you to ride I can still walk around with the leash okay and now we will go for a quick ride so it's a little bit narrower in comparison with the S Plus or S Max uh, but the ride on this are very smooth I've been riding this every day to many places and so far I really enjoy it Okay, so we're just gonna go around this neighborhood and you can see for area with good road, fat, flat, this is a very good uh, device to have. Also, it's very light when you are lifting, going upstairs or gaps. It's fairly easy. Uh, it's lighter than the S Plus or S Max. That's why they call this one the Mini Pro 2. And the range on this uh, official number is 35 kilometer, but that's with people are really skinny at about 50 kilogram. I am now at 86 kilogram. I've been gaining weight lately. So when I ride this, I got about only, I would say roughly around 15 kilometer, which is still fine and the good thing about this is the charging is very fast it takes only a couple hours to fully charge this device and if you are experienced and navigating the road is easy to go last night i even used this to travel probably about six kilometers to my hairdresser's place and it was even raining I was carrying umbrella uh, so this is not bad not bad at all and let's do a closer shot so you can see the wine is very smooth just remember when you're going through gap, uh, any kind of segue, this kind of 
a balanced standing one, you have to uh, be mindful using 40, 45 degree one side go up and the other one go up so that you don't fall out of the device. The pro of this device is that it's small, narrow, and it's light, very easy to carry, and the light on the side is very cool. Uh, the disadvantage of this device is the uh, pad, the original pad that come with it. Uh, if you ride it too long without proper protection, you're going to get some bruises on your knee. Uh, the, uh, when it's raining, it's still okay because this here blocks the rain. So overall, this is a very good uh, segue to ride around. And this was the only one that's available in Taiwan currently. And I kind of like it. Here is the speaker. So let's do more riding around. And several occasions I rode past a different police car and there was no problem at all. So just don't do crazy thing. You ride this around in Taiwan. At least in this particular area, it was all fine. Uh, there is some some stairs here, and looks like I can go through this narrow space, very narrow space. Okay, and I can zigzag up, zigzag up this place. Okay, that's kind of cool. Without doing any heavy lifting. This one, if you have the app, you can also remote control with the phone. Uh, unlike the S Plus with the physical remote control, but it's still not bad. And this is sort of an empty space where I can go around very safely. The acceleration climbing is pretty good. You feel very comfortable, very agile on this device. And let's push down. So it's very smooth. Uh, I from from 100 out of uh, from 100 to if let's if we rate this thing with 100 skill, I would say I'll give this one a 90 for the reason that it is small, agile, nimble, uh, easy, smooth control. The only issue I found with this is you are. You, you need to add some pad, otherwise your knee will hurt. Other than that, this one is almost a perfect. I mean, for the segue, it doesn't have to be big. Smaller is better because you can go around tiny places. And I also go into different convenience store, uh, shopping mall, and it was no problem. Uh, as long as you're careful, as long as you can stand still at one spot, there is no issue at all. So, really enjoy this device so far. I've been used for the last three, four days, and I've been recharged for several times already. Uh, I really have to say, I really like it. I recommend this one. So anyone thinking of getting a Segway, 
this is not a bad choice and simply adding a pad it will be a perfect product so that's it for this video we'll talk to you guys next time bye for now